NFL Live OT on ESPN.com. Trey Wingo here with Tim Hasselbeck and Eric Allen. Okay, so Friday night we had a couple of chances for quarterbacks really to solidify their chances of being the number one starter when the regular season ended. Neither one of them really grabbed the reins. Uh, Eric, let's start in Tennessee. Jake Locker was given every opportunity, but it looks like he came up short. Yeah, he sure did. Four of 11 today, 21 yards in the pick. I tell you what, when you talk about Jake Locker, we all know he can throw the football. It's about being able to make tremendous plays with his arm, check down if you have to. I wasn't impressed, but what he did tonight, I think Matt Hasselback may have an opportunity to get that job back. Well, listen, he did throw for over 3,000 yards last year and has been to the Pro Bowl three times. Not that I have to tell any of you yeah, this. Uh, you know that. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Uh, Jake Locker just didn't make great decisions. Meanwhile, Ryan Tannehill, given the start for the Miami Dolphins, Tim, wasn't terrible, but didn't really have that game that I think everybody in the coaching staff was looking for against the number ones. Yeah, Trey, I would say good, not great. And the way things are shaping out in Miami, good might be good enough to win that job. David Garrard obviously out of the mix with the knee injury. Matt Moore really not doing anything to pull away from Ryan Tannehill. And I think that needs to happen in order for Matt Moore to be the starting quarterback. So I think when you look at what Ryan Tannehill has done, he's shown command of that offense which is probably going to be good enough for Joe Philbin to start in week one. Well, we'll see what happens. Again, critical week three or game three of the preseason. You know who your starters are when they line up for that game, and that's what we'll watch next in Tennessee and in Miami. NFL Live, Monday through Friday, 4 o'clock Eastern on ESPN.